Hello and welcome to Thrift Miss, where I have decided to give myself the gift of burnout this holiday season and go to 24 different thrift stores, no repeats, and try to pull the maximum amount of value out of that thrift store and then have everything listed before the end of the video. So I am currently at the Goodwill in Yorktown. I think I've only been to this thrift store one time in like three years and that is because it is the smallest goodwill in my area and also um kind of out of the way for me so let's go in and see if i can find anything good i felt like this was going to be a good thrift trip when i find vintage lands end uh right at the beginning but this had a stain on it so i left that behind this is uh, a beautiful vintage billabong piece it says made in korea right here it is missing a button, but I have plenty of spares. I was about ready to just completely not do the pants, and then I saw this peeking out at me, and uh, then I had to go through all the pants <laughs> because I am not leaving any cool behind. You can see I found two pairs, and then I went over to the shorts and found a third one. I was just ecstatic, and they're all the same size, which is awesome. So this is me looking through the polos. They had so many polos and they had this like weird thing where they had a, a high rack, which is what I'm going through now. And then they had a low rack, which was a pain to go through. But I went through every single shirt. <laughs> uh, I didn't really find anything until I got to the section to my left, but definitely always worth to check everywhere, especially like if it's hard to get to um, like this, this is on the bottom rack. This is all the jackets, uh, the men's jackets. And I felt this and I was like, this feels like tweed. And it was Harris tweed. Uh, and not only is it Harris tweed, but it's Nordstrom. So it has double the, the high value brand there. So that was awesome. And then look at this mug heaven. Uh, I actually only found four mugs for resale. I found these two mismatched Fiesta wear. And then I found a pair of yellow. So all of those definitely are going home with me. And then I hope you guys like this angle. You can pretend like you are a child sitting there looking uppy at me <laughs> while I shop the rack. This is a cabbie piece and it was cute, um, but it had a flaw. I still considered it because I thought it might fit me, but I was just like, no, it's old cabbie. I don't want to repair it and I'll just let it go. This is a torrid piece and it's a dark floral. I put it, all the stuff that you see me put on my handle is me thinking about it because Goodwill has upped their price significantly since the last time I did a shopping run, like legitimate just retail and not going to the bins. So they like upped everything by like between a dollar and three dollars depending on what it is. So it's kind of like, it has to be something amazing or it has to be something I know will sell quickly. And while Tor does normally sell quickly because it's out of season, I decided to actually put that back. But this is just me going through the rack. I still shop out of season. So that's actually where you can find some of the best stuff is by going in the out of season sections because nobody's thinking about uh, tank tops when it is 35 degrees outside. Um, so those overlook sections, you can find like, I found Madewell, I have found Everlane, I have found like anthropology brands. I, I have just found some really good stuff by doing it this way. Not to mention like if it's hot outside, going and shopping in the jacket section. Find another piece of Harris Tweed like I just did. Or I found uh, two Patagonia snap fleeces actually by shopping out of season. So. You know, just because the weather outside doesn't match the thing that you're looking at doesn't mean that it doesn't still have value. I sell things out of season all of the time. I'm just striking out so hard here until I found this. Now this physically hurt me to put back. So the way that this Goodwill works is that it's buy one tank top for $5.25, buy two tank tops for $6.25. So if I don't get two tank tops, it's not worth it in my opinion unless it's a half off color and it's neither of these were the half off colors so i couldn't justify paying five dollars and 25 cents for either of these pieces <laughs> so 
especially since this is like more of a style thing. And because it doesn't have any of the content tag on it, it had like where it was made and the size, but it didn't have a content tag. And because I wasn't quite sure if it was cotton or a blend, I just, I put it back, but it was a really cool piece. Also, you guys are at this angle because I'm trying my hardest not to film anybody else uh, this was, it was very crowded. You can see somebody's head like peeking over the top there, but there were a couple of moms with their kids. So I, I don't film children. Um, and I try not to film anybody else at all. So it's just me being respectful. Um, because you know, that's, that's my personal opinion. You do you, but I prefer not to film other people. I mean, I live in Virginia, so it's not like it's illegal. It's a one party consent in Virginia. You don't need to know that. Uh, you can tell that I am not having a good time going through this rack, but this is what it's like. It is, I wanted to go through one whole rack with you guys so you can see, I'm actually trying to find the maximum amount of profit I possibly can. My back is starting to hurt because I have been in here for over an hour at this point. This was so cute. I also, it hurt me to put this back too, but I don't, I, I, I wasn't a hundred percent on it. Also, if you see, there was a, a separate tag on the front of it. So this wasn't normal, um, pricing. So they actually singularly for this would have been $6. So I just, I went ahead and put it back. I tried to look up comps to see, and I thought about it really hard cause it was really cute. So let me just stretch my arms out. Cause again, I'm getting tired because I've been in here for a while. But go back to finish up the rack. I don't really find anything here. I didn't really t bring any of the tank tops home with me. But I did find a lot of really great stuff and I am so excited to show it to you guys. All right, I absolutely was not expecting to find that much at this little Goodwill. And the fact that I found so much vintage and then also like several pairs of cool and a, a Harris Tweed jacket, which I have to make sure I do not show the boy because if so, he'll probably take it. <laughs> but yeah, like my whole passenger seat is full. So we're gonna go now back to the house and we're gonna do the haul. And then as I do the haul, I'm going to show you the listings because again, everything has to be listed. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the haul so that way I can get this stuff listed. And I, again, $136 for everything. And I am actually shocked about how much I was able to pick up from the thrift store. So maybe I should actually add it into my rotation, my regular rotation, because as I said before, it's one that I've gone to only once because it is out of the way and small. So there you go. And there were other resellers there. Uh, well, there were like two t-shirt bros and that was about it that I saw really. But you know, it is the middle of the week. So maybe that's it. First piece I picked up is Robert Stock. This is just a Hawaiian shirt with some cars on it. Bunch of convertibles. This is a size large and this is a rayon, a rayon cotton blend. So, uh, the silk ones normally do better, but I saw this in the pattern for sure. I definitely picked that up. Uh, <laughs> the next piece is this Odo and I picked this up hundred percent off of style. I've actually had really good luck, uh, reselling these like nineties Guy Fieri type of shirts. Uh, so I don't know if you know this, but this looks like a nineties like early Y2K era Guy Fieri type of shirt. <laughs> it's got the dragons or the dargons on it and it is vintage because this is actually made in um, Republic of Korea. So definitely 90s there. But that's also the size large. So that was pretty great. Uh, again, so much really good vintage. This needs some fabric shaving, but I'm all right with that. This has got some great color blocking. So this is probably, uh, let's see, where are you made? 
you are made in Israel. So that could be late 80s, early 90s. Just absolutely great color blocking on this banded bottom polo. That's what this is, it's a banded bottom. I mean, banded bottom polos are still made. Uh, they're just not as popular unless it's a vintage piece. So this is Static International and this is also size large. I feel like someone donated their entire 90s wardrobe from when they were younger and uh, I bought all of it. <laughs> this one is LD Sport International, another great banded bo bottom, long sleeve color blocked polo with a pocket. The other one also had a front pocket as well. Those people who really like to dress vintage, color blocking is definitely a good thing to look out for when you're looking for like 90s vintage. So both of those are really great pieces and I was excited. Not quite as excited is when I was in the pants section and I wasn't finding anything. So I was just kind of like, I went through the first section and I wasn't finding anything. So I was just kind of like, I don't really want to fiddle with pants because they are fiddly because you have to like look they're all claspy and you have to look in the back and then like you end up accidentally knocking the pants off the thing because the clasps aren't strong enough. So I was just like, meh, whatever. And then as I was walking, I saw this logo and I was like, oh, oh no. Oh no, am I missing stuff? I'm missing stuff. So I found not just one pair of cool pants, nice long pants here. And these are a 4032 in this brown color. But I found two pairs of cool pants in 4032, and this is in a gray color. So I was like, what? I was so excited. I rarely find like the really good outdoor brands here, like Cool and Patagonia and Artrix. So the fact that I found two pairs of pants, you know what's funny? The last time I found a bunch of cool, I found it at CHKD and it was also size 40. So maybe it's the same person. They just like get a new wardrobe of cool pants every year. But speaking of cool, I also found their pair of shorts that they donated. There is the cool logo. And again, we have a size 40. So we have a pair of shorts, some interesting cargo shorts, technically carpenter shorts because they well, are they, I think they may be just cargo shorts because this one doesn't have the little loopy loop. But yeah, I found three pairs of cools. Amazing. I did actually pick up a pair of jeans too. I normally don't pick up jeans at the, the Goodwill because it's like $9.25 for a pair of jeans. But I managed to find a pair that were half off. So they have a color of the week at our Goodwills here. And that color is half off. So instead of paying $9, I paid $4.70 or something for a pair of Levi's 560s. These are 38, 36, so a great size. And these are in excellent shape. Now, you know, Levi's 560s don't sell like they used to. They still sell, they just don't sell for as much. But for less than $5, I'm willing to pick up a pair of 560 Levi's. So that is awesome. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hard goods I picked up because I picked up four mugs because it's me. Of course I picked up mugs. I had found a bunch of Fiesta Wear mugs. So I found two in the yellow colorway and these are modern Fiesta because they have, are you gonna, come on. They have the big F, they don't have the little F. So, Modern Fiesta with the thumb handle and two yellows. And then I have a blue and a green. So I'll probably just lot up the two yellows together and list them and then I will probably list these together. It just depends on if any of these colors are retired or not um, because then it might be worth selling them individually if some of the colors are retired. And all you have to do is do a quick Google search to figure out which ones are retired or not. All right, so back to clothes. I always look over the, the suit jackets and the blazers just to see if I find like Pendleton that's out of place or if I find Harris Tweed. I've never found Laura Piana anything, but I have found 
Harris Tweed. And again, I have to keep this at my house because if the boy sees this, this is his size. And the last one, the last Harris Tweed jacket I found that was in his size, he kept. So he's been talking about wanting one for the office and then also one uh, for home uh, for when we go to charity events. But I'm selling this. And it's a 44R. It has absolutely no holes. This is made in the USA, so it is a vintage piece. And a 44R is like the most common size, so this is gonna be great. This is a brown blazer, good basic, in Harris Tweed. Again, I'll show you that logo if you've never seen it before. There are little variations of this, but this is pretty much the logo. And Harris Tweed is um, specifically woven in Scotland. So it's probably one of the oldest brands of wool that you can buy and i was just like you're kidding me cool and harris tweed what all right i think i'm almost done with men's all right i also found a uh, tommy bahama so a brand that i pick up quite a bit i know some people don't sell tommy bahama or like they say they can't sell it i don't have a problem especially when i'm picking up the good fabric so this is 100 percent linen it's just a basic stripe it's a size medium um, so I'm sure that this won't sell until it gets hot again, but you know, I can list it now and someone will buy it eventually. This is, a. Uh, this was too wild not to purchase. This is a vintage piece. The brand doesn't really matter, but I'll show it to you anyway. This is Career Club. It is a size large. It's made in Thailand. But look at how ridiculous this pattern is. So it's a golf, some dude doing golf with a bunch of crests on it. Somebody's gonna want this. This is just very loud. And then it's got the uh, contrasting collar as well. I'll list this. Somebody will want it, I'm sure. Buy that off of me on Etsy or eBay. This next piece. Oh my God, hold on. You all know how much I love reselling vintage. Well, this is a 70s polo shirt. This is uh, actually probably a men's, but I'll probably market it as a women's large just because of how it fits. But this is from the 70s. It does have um, some stain treating that I need to do on one of the sleeves, and I'm not gonna be able to find it now. Here it is. So it does have some minor discoloration, but thankfully it's where the white part is, so that's gonna be easy to get out. I'll just use some bleach. Are you kidding me? Stop, nobody likes you. All right, but yeah, I, I love selling vintage. I'll put this as like a women's large. I'll probably try it on first after I wash it. Um, but yeah, this also, I'm gonna have to wash it anyway because it smells a lot like fabric softener, which I'm allergic to, so that's, I'm gonna put this down now. But yeah, that's, I was definitely drawn to that one because it's green and then I saw the long little lapels and I was like, it's the 70s, I need that. More vintage, we have vintage CK jeans. 100% cotton, made in Macau. So this is a size large, so this is a men's size large. This is a heavy cotton. So this is 90s. This vintage CK jeans logo there. So again, I will pick up mall brands when they're vintage um, because they normally sell better. I also really like this textured cotton, this heavyweight textured cotton that was really prevalent in the 90s, especially from um, Calvin Klein. So that was a great piece. This is amazing. I found vintage Billabong. So this is a vintage Billabong knit polo with these long freaking arms. And I think based on the lapel, so it's got, again, it's got the long, the long little spread collar here. This is made in Korea. It's a size medium. There's the label. So this is either made late 70s, early 80s. I have to remember when like the, the sleeves were this long, when that was super popular, I can't remember, but I saw this and I was just absolutely in love. This is definitely screams like late 70s, early 80s. And to find two vintage pieces, now this does have a button missing, 
but that's okay because I have so many buttons. Whenever I go to an estate sale and if I see any button jars, I buy them because I always need buttons to replace on the many vintage pieces that I have. And even if I don't have a button that'll match this, I have enough buttons to where I can take all of them off and put new ones on there and no one will know. Shh. Everything else is women's. Everything else is women's. All right, in the men's section, since I had to go through all of the men's shorts since I found a pair of cool shorts, I found a pair of women's Duluth Trading shorts. So these are the long Bermuda shorts with the uh, comfy waist and the pull string and the many, many pockets. And Duluth gives you real pockets. So ladies, if you're tired of having pants that don't have real pockets, buy Duluth Trading pants. Buy Duluth Trading jeans. You will have real pockets. All right, I wanna save the dresses for last because I rarely buy dresses unless they're vintage. And well, these are all vintage, so that's why I bought them. A new tag piece, because you know, we're quarter four. This is uh, Disney theme parks. And the reason I bought this is because it's new with tags and it's extra small. I would not have bought this if it was not new with tags, but because it is new with tags, uh, I bought it. The original price was $49.95. This is just a little black Minnie Mouse cardigan. Well, there's some Minnie Mouse sequined bow, and there's Minnie Mouse there. And it's got a cute little front tie here. So that is why I bought that. I will pay, you know, $6 for that because I think it's going to be a fairly easy listing or a very quick flip. Hopefully. I'm wrong sometimes, so who knows? Another vintage piece, this is Sag Harbor, uh, a knit polo. Again, knitwear is really back in because the 90s are in and this would have been something I would have worn. Well, it wouldn't have been because it's pink, but if this was a different color, this would have been something I would have worn in high school. So, nice pink knit. It's got this interesting little uh, mesh detail in the front there. This is a size medium, so I thought that was really cute. Then I have two t-shirts. T-shirt bros missed a vintage t-shirt, although I'm sure it's not one of the ones that they would have wanted to have picked up anyway. But it's on the Made in the USA Fruit of the Loom tag. It's a size large. And this is a nags head t-shirt with a bunch of shells around the collar and the decolletage area. So it is single stitched, but yeah, I picked this up because it's a, a vintage tee and uh, t-shirts are like, if you buy two, they're $3 each. So that's what I did. I just actually bought this because of the fact I wanted not to pay $6 for that one shirt. This is a Madewell. Uh, I think I can wear this. I'm not 100% sure. It might be too tight in the shoulders. If, it, if I keep this, I will not put what I listed it for. If it doesn't fit me, I'll put the listing up on here. But this is a women's size small in this really great uh, burnt orange color. And uh, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a basic Madewell tee. I know some people are not having luck selling Madewell right now, but I mean, it was $3. So I'm sure if I do put it up for sale, that I can get more than $3 for it. Even if I just get $3 for it, I'm fine with that. All right, the next one is a set of vintage dresses from the 90s. This is Max Studio, which again, vintage, the label doesn't necessarily matter, but it's Max Studio. And this is a beautiful 90s dress with this dark, large, dark floral. It's got this nice lettuce hemming. That's what this is. So this is not a scallop hem. This is a lettuce hem because it looks like lettuce leaves. Does that make sense? So it's got lettuce hem and cap sleeves that are also lettuce. But this is a women's size medium and it's made in the USA. So I saw this and I was like, that's beautiful. Somebody's gonna want that. The 90s are still super in. Speaking of the 90s, here we've got the Limited. Uh, and I was surprised when I was looking up comps for this. This is 100% sell-through. 
meaning that there were zero listed and one sold for $30. So I picked this up. This is a size eight. And this is a blue limited sheath dress and it's mesh. So this was super popular in the 90s, which was to have um, a layer on the bottom and then to have a separate layer on top of some kind of lightweight mesh. So this was super, I had like two or three of these dresses in the 90s. But yeah, again, a nice blue floral, peak 90s. Definitely gonna buy that. Karen is gonna sell the heck out of this. Now this one, I will definitely probably wear until it sells, if it, if it fits me. This might be a little bit too big for me. Not 100% sure. This is uh, Liz Claiborne sports dress. But look at how gorgeous this print is. This is absolutely beautiful. This is everything cottage core. So it's 90s. It's 90s. It's a long maxi dress. Super cottage core from a relatively like known brand. And it's got pockets. So again, um, if this fits me, uh, I might not sell it. But this is so pretty. It's so pretty. It's $136 well spent. This is how many pieces I listed and the total roughly of what I hope I can get for it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another day of Christmas. Until then, bye.